Hello, and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick, and we are continuing on the IXL set tied to the circles unit. This IXL today is for U6, which is just general arcs and chords uh, types of problems. So the first thing you really have to know is what a chord is. And I'll take a little snapshot here. And a chord in the most basic sense is going to be a line where both endpoints of the line touch on the end of a circle. So for instance, right here, we have a line starting at U and going over to T. We have the line that goes from there to there, right? So a chord, um, th this, this line would indeed be a chord because both endpoints are on the edge of the circle. So TU would be a chord, SU would be a chord, TV would be a chord, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, key word or the key point is that both endpoints have to be on the edge of the circle. So knowing that and knowing that certain lines are congruent, we can tell by the little tick marks here, they're the same length, they're exactly the same, they're equal. We can tell a lot of other information about these circles too. So for instance, this question is asking for the measure of the arc ST. So it wants to know what the degree value of this arc right here is. Well, we look at this diagram in the circle and we see that we have a chord right here, which would be UV, that chord right there. And then we have the chord ST right here and it shows the little tick marks. So that tick mark and that tick mark and that means they're the same or equal. Meaning that any of uh, any arc that they cut out are also going to be equal. So we have UV right here and it looks like that creates a 85, an 85 degree arc, which means the side over here is also going to have an 85 degree arc. So the minor arc ST is just going to be 85 as well. Okay. Next problem. This one's even uh, uh, um, more obvious, right? Same deal, we have two chords right here. And this problem is telling us with the tick marks that the arcs are the same. The arc degree value and the arc length is gonna be the same. So if those are gonna be the same, that means the chords are gonna be the same. So if this chord is 30 units long, that means that this chord, VW, is also gonna be 30 units long. There we go. Okay, next problem. What is the length of the chord XY? So XY, so this one right here, and I can highlight that. So for XY, we're gonna want this line right here, this chord. And we could already tell that these two arcs are the same, so WZ and XY are the same. They both have 77 degrees. So they're congruent, right? They're the same arcs. They're the same degree values. And so if the arcs are the same, again, the chords are the same. So this chord right here with a length of two means this chord right here, XY is also going to have a length of two. Easy, easy. All right. What is the measure of arc HI? HI is right here. Again, the two chords are congruent, so both are going to be a degree value of 51. Good. What is the length of FG? FG um, and DE are gonna be the same because these two minor arcs are the same, so that's gonna be 42. Okay, and the IXL is just a series of these problems. Uh, that's pretty much all you need to know. It's, it's uh, very nice. Every once in a while, you'll get something like this uh, where you have to do a little bit of math. So for instance, uh, it's saying that these two circles are congruent, or maybe uh, remember that the symbol right there, the little tilde or squiggly on top of the equal sign means congruent, I mean they're just the same, they're equal, they're the same size and everything. So both circles are the same size. What is the length of the chord DE? So we have DE right here, and we have FG right here. Um, you have the 85 degrees for that little bit, 
and it only gives you that this major arc right here is 275. Well, if you use uh, math, you know that the entire degree value of that circle is 360 degrees. So if this little arc is 85 and the entire thing has to be 360, that means the rest of this has to equal 275. Or same as over here. The major arc here is 275. The entire circle has to be 360. So if we just subtract 275 from 360, we're left with this as being 85. So even though they don't clearly state that they're going to be the same values right there, keep in mind you might have to do a little bit of math, but they are going to be the same. Either way, totally fine. The chords F, G, and D, E are going to be the same. So that's going to be 2 as well. Okay. Um, same type of problem here. We'll skip this. Okay. Here's a good one. What is the measure of angle R, V, U? Uh, a little different, but same concept. We have these uh, two sides here, two chords. R, U, and S, T are going to be congruent. And what we know about U, V, and T, V right here is they are also going to be congruent because they're both radiuses or radii, right? Radii or a radius is just the length from the edge of the circle to the direct center. So really, RV, UV, TV, and ST are all radiuses. They're all radii, so they're all going to be equal. So knowing all this, that means the angle um, SVT and RVU are going to be the exact same thing. So if this angle right here is 56, that means this one right here is also going to be 56. Okay, uh, same problem is right here. That's going to be 36, etc. So we will move past that. Okay, same type of problem here, except now they require you to do a little bit of algebra, which is fine. We'll do an example or two of this kind of problem. So immediately we have a bunch of chords here and we see that um, these two minor arcs, arc UX and uh, VW are congruent, meaning these chords right here are going to be congruent as well, meaning they're going to be the same. They're going to equal each other, right? 34 is 34, 68 is 68. So instead, they give us uh, numbers with uh, letters attached to them, with variables attached to them. So the same is true, though. They equal each other. So we're just going to write that out algebraically. S plus 18. So the length of this chord equals the length of the other chord, which is 2s. All right. Now we're just going to try to get s by itself. So we have an s on the left side and an s on the right side of the equation. I'll subtract an s from both sides. s minus s comes out to be 0. So we're left with 18 equals 2s minus s, or 2s minus 1s is just s. So we have 18 equals s. And that's all. 18. Okay, same deal as here. You know that these two uh, uh, chords are going to be congruent, so you just set C2 equal to C plus 10 and solve for C that way. Up to 85. Uh, the arcs in the diagram are labeled with their measure in degrees. What is the value of x? Same exact thing. You know that arc BC and arc AD are going to be congruent, so you just set them equal to each other. 9x equals 7x plus 16, and then just solve for x. Same type of problem. And that looks like it is going to be it. Yeah, same format here um, as previous problems, but we just set them equal to each other uh, because it has variables, etc. Okay, that's where I'm going to end the video. Uh, practice hard, stay safe, and see you later for future IXL tutorial videos. Take care. Goodbye.